Welcome back. As we continue our countdown to the midterms, Assemblyman Chad Mays, now NBC Palm Springs political analyst, here to talk about one of the hottest races tonight that you are very familiar with. Very familiar, yes. <laughs> very familiar. Uh, tonight we're going to talk about uh, the 47th Assembly District race between uh, Christy Holstage and uh, Greg Wallace. Uh, I know a little bit about uh, this assembly district. The 47th assembly district used to be the 42nd assembly district, but then after the census, they did redistricting, uh, and this district looks pretty close to the 42nd, um, but it's it's probably 15 to 20 percent uh, different. Let me just give you a, a kind of what the the cities are cities are if I can do it. It's La Quinta all the way down to Palm Springs. It goes up to Joshua Tree, Yucca Valley, uh, down the pass. Uh, but it's no longer Hemet and San Jacinto. And then it goes all the way through Yucaipa and East Highland, a little bit, a little tiny bit of unincorporated uh, redlands. Uh, the one big difference is that the old district did not have Cathedral City and Desert Hot Springs in it. Uh, the 47th Assembly District does. One key, very, very key point here is that the old 42nd Assembly District had a Democratic registration advantage of about uh, 2%. Uh, this one has a Democratic registration advantage of about 6%. Uh, and so often people say, oh, this is a very conservative area. Well, not so much anymore. We've seen a, a huge trend over the last really 15 years where this area used to be very Republican. And now it's uh, definitely creeping to becoming very blue, very, dem very Democrat. And you've seen it. You've held this position for eight years. You're outgoing for state assembly. But you've seen the change even through the eight years that you've been elected to this position. Uh, absolutely. In fact, when I first ran for uh, the office back in 2014, there was a nine point Republican registration advantage then, which is a big one. And now you've got a six point registration advantage for, for Democrats. So the tide has really uh, begun begin to turn. Well, speaking of Republicans and Democrats, let's get to the candidates tonight. We'll start with Christy Holstich. She is the Democratic candidate running for this position. We know her as the former Palm Springs mayor, a current city council member there. She's been working in a government here in the Coachella Valley for a while. Why don't we talk a little bit about the platforms for each candidate as this race gets a little closer, starting with Christy. Well, uh, I mean, Christie's running. She's running as a Democrat. And if you see the campaign ads that she is sending, she's talking an awful lot about uh, abortion uh, in her in her ads. Um, if you look at uh, which is interesting, by the way, because it's an interesting strategy. Why are you why, why would she want to talk about abortion? Uh, Greg is actually a, a pro, pro choice Republican. In fact, he's a, a moderate Republican, a pro choice um, and pro LGBT rights. Uh, Republican, but uh, the goal is for Democrats up and down the ballot in California to try to drive their base out. And one way of being able to do it is to talk about about abortion rights. The inverse of that, we'll talk about Greg and Greg's campaign. Is you're starting to see Greg attack uh, uh, Christie a little bit on things like health care, as if uh, Christie wants to take away. Uh, your health care. I think that's probably a little bit uh, too far, but one of those things that you see in these campaigns. And um, you mentioned Greg there. Now, you have a relationship with Greg that you wanted to mention. Yeah, I do. Time. Yeah, I want to make sure to say this. So Greg, by the way, has worked for me as my district director for the last eight years. I've also endorsed him uh, for this uh, seat uh, as well. Um, Greg's a Republican I've endorsed. I'm also have announced and seen uh, last week that I endorsed Will Rollins, who's running against Republican uh, Ken Calvert. Okay. And so when you look at Christine, you look at Greg, you mentioned that Greg is a little bit more of a moderate Republican, but their platforms extremely difficult or difficult, different. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, issues that Greg is kind of putting in the forefront of his campaign. Well, I think really uh, number one for him is, uh, is affordability. It's the high gas prices, uh, the gas tax, which is something that uh, Californians, especially right now with gas prices being as high as it is, he's really sort of driving home uh, the affordability uh, message. Both candidates uh, are talking Talking about public safety. In fact, if you look, Christie's got the support of the, the Palm Springs police officers. Um, Greg's got the support of the Riverside Sheriff's Association. Christie has the endorsement of uh, the Palm Springs uh, firefighters. Greg has the endorsement of the San Bernardino County firefighters. So on some of those things, they're actually very, very similar. They're both talking about, about public safety. I think the one sort of thing that you'll see is really on abortion. Christie wants to paint uh, Greg as, uh, as a, a, an anti-abortion uh, candidate. Um, uh, Greg, of course, wants to, uh, to, to paint Christie as a single-payer health care uh, type of a candidate. Very interesting. Now, uh, Greg was the chief district advisor 
for your campaign. Christy comes in with a lot of city council experience. Uh, do you see maybe Christy's years of experience being any advantage to her in this race? Well, I want to make sure not in my campaign. He's actually worked for, for my, the government office oh, uh, right. for, my, for the district director. So Greg knows uh, the, the, this region uh, really well, but Christy's actually governed. She's the one that's actually had to make some decisions. When you serve on a city council, you have to vote aye. You have to vote no, which means you have a, a record. Uh, Greg has uh, worked in government, knows a lot about government, but it's been, it was my votes when he was working for me. It wasn't his, his votes. Now he's got to stand on what he believes. Um, he's got to be able to deliver that message. Uh, to the voters here uh, in this this region. All right. Well, Christy had a slight lead in the primaries. Anything you want to add uh, discussing the vote coming up for the midterm? Yeah, just this is going to be a very, very, very tight race. Um, it is. Uh, don't let uh, you know people will send out polls saying I'm up nine points, or someone else will put out a poll saying I'm up five or six points. This is going to come down to the wire. Um, the this region is right at the heart of whether we want some balance up in uh, up in Sacramento, uh, and it's going to be interesting. Uh, to see what happens here in this race. All right. Well, thank you, Chad. Now we've got that first race that we've covered, and we're going to be discussing these candidates again because coming up on Thursday, we're going to have them both live here. That's October 20th, next Thursday. Christy Holstage and Greg Wallace will be here at the NBC Palm Springs studio. We're going to have a conversation with the candidates. That'll be live in our 6 o'clock show, probably starting around 6.30. So we'll get to hear from the candidates themselves about these very important topics. And Chad and I will continue these discussions all the way up to election night. We're back after this break.